today's video is going to be a bit of a follow-up to our previous video. So you may remember we printed the first half of a giant humpback whale on our Builder Extreme 1500. Um, so I'm just going to show you how we printed the second half and how we post-processed the model uh, to create a full finished piece. So after printing the second half of the whale, so the tail, um, we removed the supports from that and then gave both parts a good sanding just to remove any of the sort of um, texture left by the, left by the supports. We then applied contact adhesive to the two, um, two flat surfaces and glued that together. Uh, just for reference, the, the glue we used is a multi-purpose uh, impact adhesive uh, by EvoStick, this stuff here. Um, you can buy that in most uh, DIY stores. Um, and after gluing it, we then filled uh, the join and filled any other little bits that we thought could do with uh, neatening up. There are a few bits on the underside of the fins here um, that we did. So let the uh, car body filler, um, filler that we used um, harden and then gave that another uh, good sanding. After that, we then applied XTC 3D, which is a specifically designed product for brushing onto um, 3D prints. And it's basically designed to smooth out um, any of the layers. Uh, and you apply it, it's a two-part um, epoxy. And you mix the two parts together and then just brush it on. And it basically just settles into all the layers and gives you a nice smooth finish. Um, so we actually did two uh, goes with this. So we applied a full coating, sanded it back, um, gave it a wash, and then applied another coat, sanded that back, and then after that, it was nice and smooth uh, and ready to be primed. Um, so again, the next thing we did was um, apply some spray primer, um, just in white. So once we'd finished um, priming it, we basically used acrylic paint to give the final finish. Um, just used a few shades of uh, gray and, and black, um, along with white for the underside. And I, I sponged it on um, just to give a kind of uh, whale skin texture. Um, and it's turned out pretty well. Um, we actually took this to the TCT show um, up in Birmingham where we were exhibiting. And um, it's now off on its travels um, with Builder. So they're going to be exhibiting it along with their printers, as you can see here. Um, if you've got any questions about how we did any of the processes or you want to know more about the Builder Extremes, um, just leave your comments in the section below and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.